Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6, 2018. And as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you that that is a general reading for Pisces star sign and therefore this reading is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Pisces. So for that reason in this video I will explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end you have to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing for the examples in this video then uh, you have to go for a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're gonna find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So this is the uh, the general spread and we do have the lover's card here as a uh, um, topic of your week. Then we do have the moon card as a core of the situation, king of wands as a challenges that are causing predicaments and the justice card as a uh, guidance. So you do have a, a very important decision to make throughout the week, throughout this week. The thing is with that uh, specific decision is that you will never know uh, or at least throughout that week you will never know uh, the ultimate solution or rather like the ultimate outcome of your decision so basically it's kind of like a uh, shooting in the dark if I may express myself that way. The uh, lover's card this represents exactly that, the decision making. This is the card of the choice and uh, usually goes uh, in a couple of ways, you know, uh, one needs to decide in between things they want to do and things they have to do and neither of those decisions is no right, no wrong, it is just one needs to take a uh, responsibility for the decision that they did not uh, have not taken but what that decision is all about I mean why you have to make that decision the lover's card decision with the lover's card is usually associated with harmony with peace and as well with resolution to an old difficulties and with this card uh, or with old problems and with this card these problems f are for a, a quite a long time so this is going to be a, a major week of you resolving huge issues of your behalf something that is really bothering you something that doesn't let you sleep at night if you want to say it that way as well you know in case you do have such and it's going to be a tough call i don't want to lie to to you especially not knowing exactly how the things are going to ultimately ultimately turn out but eventually you need to know with these couple of cards here that you will have to make that choice one way or another why the moon card is coming here as a core of the situation well basically in this case the moon card asks you to completely rely on your intuition as again as I said logically you will not be able to discern which is which you know or how things are going to revolve and uh, as combined here with the justice card these couple are asking you first as I said to rely on your intuition and second to take the decision as such a in a such a way that it is most accountable towards you so you first think for yourself and this ain't selfishness this is self-preservation it is different you cannot decide in a favor of your rival you cannot decide in a favor of someone that it is whatever for example your neighbor all right you have to decide in a favor of yourself because well, if they have that choice to make, they will not decide in your favor, not at all. I mean, if we're talking about your kid, well, of course, it does depend what your priorities are, again, because we're going to come there with the justice card where the priorities kick in. But regarding your priorities, your priorities, not someone else's, but your priorities, you have to decide how you need to tackle that situation and what is going to be the resolution of those long time lingering issues. Now the, res the resolution as I said could go a couple ways but uh, ultimately it will depend on your personal preference and it will be a shame Pisces if you give up your personal preference for the preference of someone else. 
because this is what we do have here all right that is the challenges which are causing predicaments we do have someone who is trying to guide you with uh, for their personal agenda that is someone who is manipulating you or kind of like manipulate manipulating your uh your decision making so you can decide in such a way that they end up beneficial from all that this is a, a very ambitious person this is someone who does not take no for an answer this is someone who always has a, a high expectations and they do deny failure they basically cannot make in peace with it and that could be very well someone that you have defeated in the past and now they want to kind of like settle the score <clears throat> Or you have depraved them from something in the past and now they want to settle the score. It's a very difficult and a broad reading to be honest because it could relate to every single thing in your life. So I will try to give you a couple of examples because before I go here to the justice card. So let's see how this can turn out into your career. All right? You may be jobless all right? and uh, <clears throat> you really want to work as a... Uh, I don't know, um, real estate agent, all right? But in the same time, uh, along with that job, another position is offered to you, something that you really, really hate doing, but in the same time is better paid. So again, you got to count on your priorities. And yet that person will make you choose or they will try to choose something that it is working into your disadvantage and working into their advantage. So if you think, if you want to kind of like make the accurate decision based on that reading, you go against what you have been advised by that very influential and ambitious person. Again, this isn't anybody, but someone that is very ambitious and that does deny failure as an option available. And they usually are um, um, kind of like they're bossing around. I mean, they don't do the dirty work. They are kind of pointing with their finger and they are expecting someone else to do their job. <clears throat> So this is how you are going to recognize that person and you should do exactly the opposite that he or she advises you according to this reading so you can be in harmony and in peace with yourself and resolve those long-term difficulties that you do have that may concern money, it may concern, I don't know, health, it may concern as well stability and etc, etc. And finally we are going to the last card which is the justice and that is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you Pisces. So what this card here told, um, tells us is that you need to settle straight your priorities what is the biggest priority or what is the immediate priority for yourself because as, as this card is appearing here it's the, it does look like that your priorities have, have been shuffled here but again by that guy or a girl or a woman it doesn't matter I mean they kind of like made it look like you know for example you are attending to trifles rather than substantial things while in the same time this person is guiding you to these trifles, all right? So they are trying to put on the big priorities that you have to attend to at a smaller value so they can divorce you uh, from your direction. And that's why you have to be very accountable toward yourself and really sort your priorities straight, make a plan, uh, category, uh, <clears throat> put them into a uh, accurate category over there and start scratching or rather like start solving them one after another but don't try to attempt all at once it's just ain't gonna go uh, very well so it's this here it's this reading is all about regaining back the balance in your life and uh, kind of liberating yourself from that very strong and very manipulative influence of that guy or a woman and even though this liberation may seem very um, insecure or that may, may put you into an insecure position at least is going to be your position and from now on you can really start paying attention more to your priorities to the people you love to the job that you love to do and to your hobbies and etc etc so a major week here where a, a big decision is waiting for you Pisces so that being said this was Dylan the, the tarot reading and now we are going to see what the Lenormand cards are to say
for you Pisces, what the Lenormand cards are going to show us is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. <clears throat> Alright, so the first card that we do have, this is going to be the Clover, and the Clover stands for small success, it stands for small amounts of, work, of luck, and in generally it stands for something small. Then we do have the tree, and the tree stands for longevity, it stands for health, it stands as well for long-lasting or kind of like rooting. And then the next one, that is going to be the stork, and the stork stands for New Era, it stands for delivery as well and generally for those couple of things in that particular case. So what I can make of those, car uh, of those cards is bit by bit your longevity or the longevity of your, uh, of your agenda, of your priorities and in general of, uh, of your undertakings is going to be start is going to start deliver itself as you liberate yourself from that person here. It could be uh, your boss, it could be a friend of yours, it doesn't have to be a man, it could be a woman as well, but they are again very ambitious and they do not tolerate different opinion than theirs and they do not like to do dirty work. It is basically they are the boss or they like to be the boss and they do not accept any other position. So that being said Pisces, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, December 31st to January 6, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, Again, this was a general reading for Pisces star sign and for that reason it's going to resonate differently with every single one of you. Uh, <clears throat> so if you want your personal situation to be analyzed just like I did here for the examples uh, in this video, well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!